by listening locally, we get local situations that have national import. So I want to tell you about what the Ocean River Institute is doing in the Indian River Lagoon on the east coast of Florida. In 2008, 43 dolphins died in Indian River Lagoon. In 2009, 48 dolphins died. Something was in the toxic cocktail that they were swimming in that was causing these deaths. And there are many pollutants that are contributing to this. And we looked at what the ag business was doing to the, to the agriculture, and they were over fertilizing by 100%. The lawns around Indian River Lagoon were being over fertilized by 500%. So here were lawn owners who wanted to keep their lawns green and they inadvertently and unwillingly were putting too much fertilizer on. So what's needed is better education. People want to know what the situation is. And so what the Ocean River Institute is doing is we're putting the word out about the plight of the dolphins and how they can be helped if only people would know how much fertilizer to put on their lawns and when to apply it. But the problem is, is too much of these nutrients are going into the ocean and a lot of it comes out of fertilizers. So I am meeting with county commissioners to put together an ordinance and I'm taking the correspondence of people from all over the land. Uh, in Florida they, they want to know what the locals think and the locals are outraged. They're complaining about slimy seawater, green algae all over the place, and suffering dolphins. We are trying to get an ordinance that will limit the use of fertilizers on lawns. And that's the first thing we want to do is to have green lawns with healthy wildlife. Second, we want them to have at least 30% slow release nitrogen in the fertilizers. And third, don't put your fertilizer down during the rainy months. This is the time that it all washes off your lawn, all goes into the ocean, and the greatest number of dolphin deaths are during the summer rainy months. I invite you to join with the Ocean River Institute. Sign up for e-alerts at oceanriver.org. Discover how by acting locally, perhaps here in your own neighborhood, you can make a difference and go the distance. Together, we can act for a greener and bluer planet Earth.